What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pearl and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a website, but more specifically, a YouTube merch website. So like a clothing website, an accessories website, anything, you name it. Uh, I will be using Wix.com for this tutorial. You guys can of course use other ones if you wish, but in this case, I'm going to be using this website because they offer a whole bunch of other features that some other websites don't. You can of course upgrade to a premium account if you guys want to. Now, these are the premium accounts that you guys can upgrade to. So these are the benefits each one comes with. So you can go with the very basic one, which is just a connect domain. Now for each person that upgrades to a premium account, I'm only going to be allowing 10 people to uh, participate I guess I'm not gonna be choosing who but whoever upgrades to a premium account will win a limited edition poster signed by me it's gonna be handwritten so I'm gonna show you guys the poster right now so if you guys upgrade to an account you guys don't have to but if you do you guys will win one of these and it is like a pretty big poster and I'm gonna go ahead and sign it at the bottom and then uh, I will send it to you guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and create a new website. So if you go on to Wix.com, you're going to have this really cool looking page where it says, what kind of website do you want to create? In this case, I'm going to go with the online store, but you guys can choose other ones if you wish. So I'm going to go onto the online store. Now here is where it gives you two different options. The left one is says, create your website with a Wix ADI. Or on the right side, create your website with the Wix editor. Now, depending on where your knowledge with creating websites, maybe you are more experienced and you guys know your way around, you guys can probably click on the right one right here. This will allow you to do it for you in a way. And I think that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one because I haven't seen anything like this before. And then it says, what kind of online store do you want to create? Uh, so I'm going to just go with the online, online accessory shop. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Uh, optional, does your website need any of the following features I'm gonna just go ahead and click next if you click skip this will skip this whole entire uh, process here so just keep that in mind uh, what is the name of your business or website I'm just gonna go ahead and name it King Tuts Pro merch or you can name it YouTube merch whatever you want I'm gonna go ahead and click next and then from here it says what is your business or where is your business located I'm just gonna go ahead and click skip to go on to the next page and then here you can add a whole bunch of other stuff you guys can add a photo you guys can add your email address your address your phone you can even add a social media so maybe you want to put in your YouTube channel or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and then go ahead and click on next so it says hello I am ADI Wix's artificial design intelligence and then it says here you can choose a different design uh, color element and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to chick because that thing looks awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. So from here it's gonna say sit back. I'll build your home page. It says your home page is the first thing your users will see. All right, guys. So it's finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And then here it gives you a very basic kind of layout with your website. But you're not finished. This is just kind of like the start. So now you guys can choose different layouts. So it says creating awesome stuff. So here you can add different kinds of sections depending on what you want to add. All right, guys. So now it's adding the next section, which is on about us. So pretty much it's adding the recommended sections here. All right, guys. So it went ahead and finished the design for me. So on the right, it says here it is the first version of your web page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the play button and then it says what's next. And then it says choose from the options below and then it will create the website for you. Uh, we'll create a full website. So it says preview your website. So you guys can preview your website by clicking on the preview button. And then right here where it says entire web, uh, entire website design, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button there. And then it says you've chosen to change the design of your website. I can choose a new design for you or show you how to do it. So maybe you wanted to do it for you. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell me uh, how to do it. So I'm gonna click show me how. And then on the left, it's going to say site design. And then we're going to go ahead and where it says here, we're going to click on that. It says click design. And then here you can change the design. So maybe you're not, you're not liking this. Um, okay. Not a problem. So I'm probably going to choose maybe something else. Uh, I kind of like this Vogue one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select that one. All right, guys. So it went ahead and changed the layout for us, as you can see here. And it says, what do you think of this design? 
so I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on keep it all right guys so now it says if you want to change the website color so I'm gonna go ahead and choose on the play button little mouse clicky thingy this is where you're gonna be changing the color in this case I want to go ahead and change this kind of beige color so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that show me how I'm gonna click on site design I'm gonna go on to the customize uh, button there and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the palettes I'm gonna go ahead and choose a color that kind of suits me. Now you can of course change the fonts. I'm gonna go ahead and skip on that. You can change the section layout. So if you don't like the way this is looking, you can go ahead and click on that. I don't really like this one, so I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on where it says, click here to enter a layout option. So I'm gonna click on this button there. And then here you can choose different styles of layouts. So I like this one. I'm gonna go with this one actually. That one looks nice. So now it looks like this. Uh, I like it, so I'm going to click on keep it. All right, guys, so we are now done. So if we give it, it gives you a preview of the section you went ahead and added. So now it says if you want to add a new page, if you want to or not, I'm not going to. So I'm going to just click on skip for now. That just allowed you to help you with the website. So what if you want to change certain elements in the page? So let's say I don't want this one here because I already have the other one so we have these little dots here you just push the delete button and that will go ahead and get rid of this section here so I'm gonna click on delete so now we have this one right here so what we want to go ahead and do is change the website so if we click on this we're gonna go ahead and click on settings or manage we want to go ahead and click on manage and then it says to manage the store so give it some time and then right here where it says a whole bunch of products this is where you guys can customize and input your own products if you wish. So let's say for the first one, we wanna change this one. So we click on the, um, you guys can select one, all of them if you want, but I'm gonna click on this button there and you guys can duplicate or delete it if you wish. I'm gonna just go ahead and click on this first. And then here's where you can add a uh, picture. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the poster that I have shown you guys in the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna go on to downloads. I'm going to go ahead and select the PNG one for this example. It's going to go ahead and upload the file. Once it says uploaded, just click done. So I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. And then now it went ahead and added the picture there. So I don't want this one. So I can just get rid of it by pressing this little X button there. And the more you add, the more you guys can uh, cycle through the pictures as well. So right here it says name. So this is where we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a name. So I'm going to just name this and it says bestseller. I'm going to just keep that price uh i'm gonna just keep it how it is and then where it says description you guys can add a description you guys can on under the inventory and shipping you guys can track the inventory you guys can add a status if you want it in stock or out of stock you guys can add additional info sections you guys can customize the text and you guys can even go on to product options so if you click on product options and you click the add option you guys can have different options so if you guys are selling t-shirts maybe you want sizes so you click on the list Maybe you want small, so we can type in small. We do medium, and then we do large. And you click on save, it will go ahead and save that one product for you, as you can see here. Now, if you click on business setup, and you go on to payments, you guys have to set up a payment in order, in order to get payments. So you guys can add the payment method. So maybe you want to add credit cards, you can click on connect, uh, but you guys do have to have this in order to receive payments and stuff like that. So once it refreshes here in a little bit, I will show you guys that you guys now have this right here. So if you click on this, it will give you a product gallery. Now this is where you guys can change everything. You guys can do a collection, you can do the image ratio, one to one, maybe you want three to four, so like that. Uh, that will look probably better because the poster is kind of long. And you guys can even crop the image. So you can do scale to fit. And this will scale the image there, which is pretty cool. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to customize the whole thing, you guys can do that as well. You guys can add a background image. You guys can change the text here. You guys can go on to edit. You guys can change this. So maybe you want to name this merch. Uh, you guys can do just like that. And the subtitle, I'm going to just do my name, King Tuts Pro. Maybe you don't want this picture, just click on replace, replace it with an image. I'm gonna go with this one here, I'm gonna click on apply, and uh, it will go ahead and change it just like that. And then when you guys are ready, just click on the publish button. And when you guys click the publish button, this will go ahead and publish the website to the internet. So I'm gonna just type in King Tuts Pro, or you guys can have your own uh, customized domain. So click publish and continue. And now it says, congratulations, your site is published and live online. So to view it, just click view site 
it will open the page in a new website and you guys have this of course you can always change the layout what we care mostly about is this right here where you guys can add your merch and we went ahead and changed the title and added a uh, picture so if you click on this um, people will, will get a description of it onto the next page here you have the option that we added uh, so we have small medium or large <laughs> I'm gonna go medium if you wanted to. You, can, you guys can change the quantity and everything, and you guys can add a whole bunch of other stuff like the info, the return and re, the return and refund policy, and the description. And when you click on Add to Cart, and uh, people will go ahead and check it out. So um, that's pretty much it. But like I said, if you guys upgrade to a premium account, it can be any of the premium accounts. I will go ahead and send you guys a limited edition signed poster by me but uh i hope you guys found this video helpful like i said i will catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day